the description of the laws of boolean algebra so first law is annulment law where a and 0 is equal to a and a or 1 is equal to 1 a is a variable which can have the value either 0 or 1 suppose if the value of a is 0 then 0 and 0 equal to 0 suppose if the value of a is 1 then 1 and 0 is equal to 0 so that means whatever the value of a the resultant will be 0 and a or 1 is equal to 1 similar is the case here also if the value of a is 0 then 0 or 1 is equal to 1 if the value of a is 1 then 1 or 1 is equal to 1 so here also whatever the value of a whether it is 0 or 1 the value will also return a 1 then we have an identity law so identity law states that a or 0 is equal to a and a and 1 is equal to a idempotent law so idempotent law states that a or a is equal to a and a and a is equal to a so when a variable is odd with itself it is always equal to that variable and when a variable is anded with itself then also you get the same value which is a itself then we have a complement law complement law states that a and a complement is equal to 0 and a or a complement is equal to 1 so if the value of a is 0 a complement will be 1 so 0 and 1 is equal to 0 and if the value of a is 0 and a complement will be 1 so 0 or 1 is equal to 1 the reverse is the case when the value of a is 1 so when the value of a is 1 a complement will be 0 so 1 and 0 is equal to 0 and 1 or 0 is equal to 1 commutative law commutative law states that in which all order you perform and operation the result will be the same that is a and b is equal to performing b and a same is the case with or that is a or b is equivalent to b or a the order of execution of and operation and or operation will result in the same result then we have double negation law double negation law states that when a term is inverted twice is equal to the original term that is a complement the whole complement is equal to a itself double complement is equal to the variable itself so suppose if the value of a is 0 what is a complement a complement is 1 and 1's complement is again 0 so you get the variable itself de morgan's theorem uh, there are two de morgan's rules or theorems the first one is a or b the whole complement is equal to a complement and b complement the second is a and b the whole complement is equal to a complement or b complement then we have other laws like distributive law so distributive law is a and b plus c is equal to a and b or a and c a or b and c is equal to a or b and a plus c then absorptive law this in a law enables a reduction in a complicated expression to a simpler one by absorbing the like terms this states that a or a and b is equal to a which is the or absorption law a and a or b is equal to a which is the and absorption law we have associated law in boolean algebra that is a or b or c is equal to a or b or c which is equal to a or b or c which is the or associative law then we have a and b and c is equal to a and b and c which is equal to a and b and c which is the and associative law then we have some other laws derived 
and that is shown in the um, box colored yellow it states that a or a complement b is equal to a or b then we have a and a complement or b is equal to a and b so first one a or a complement b how you obtain a or b so we can take the lhs lhs is a or a complement b so we know that a and 1 is a itself so instead of a i can write this a and 1 so a and 1 or a complement and b so from these two terms one can be represented as 1 or b so a variable or 1 is 1 itself so a and 1 or b plus a complement b then applying the distributive law a and 1 plus a and b plus a complement b then a and 1 is a itself and from the other two terms i will be taking b as common the remaining is a or a complement a or a complement is equal to 1 so we obtain the value as a plus b which is the rhs using the above law simplify the following expression a plus b into a plus c so we can apply the distributive law where the expression is expanded as a into a plus a into c plus a into b plus b into c a into a is equal to a item potent and law so a plus a into c plus a b plus b c this expression is further reduced as from the first two terms i can take a outside so the remaining is a into 1 plus c plus a b plus b c but 1 plus c is equal to 1 identity or law so a into 1 plus a b plus b c and uh, a into 1 is A itself. So, from the first two terms, I can take A outside and the remaining is 1 plus B plus BC. 1 plus B, the result is 1 identity overlaw. So, A into 1 plus BC, which is equal to A plus BC. Show that XY plus YZ plus Y bar Z is equal to XY plus Z. We have to prove LHS is equal to RHS. So, LHS expression as xy plus yz plus y bar z. From the last two terms, I will be taking z outside. So, xy plus z into y plus y bar which is equal to xy plus z. Hence, LHS is equal to RHS. On the right hand side of the screen, we have four questions to minimize the following expression by use of Boolean rules. The first is x equal to a b c plus a bar b plus a b c bar so the first and last term i can group together and take a b outside so the expression become a b into c plus c bar plus a bar b c plus c bar is equal to 1 so a b plus a bar b and from these two terms i will be taking b outside and hence a plus a bar into b a plus a bar is equal to 1 hence 1 into b which is equal to b Similarly, we have uh, in this slide we have two uh, problems which has been uh, solved by stating the uh, laws uh, used. Just go through this.